What's up guys, this is Technicube and you are watching Python tutorials. In the previous session we had seen how this Python programming language is effective and how it is helping the society by reducing and eliminating the various problem of human society. Well in this session we are going to understand Python variable. So if you had done some low level programming language then I hope you understand the term variables. However, if you are a complete new person to programming language then variable is a new term. So for, the, for an explanation a variable is nothing but it is a kind of word who is holding something or storing something. So if you want to store uh, a string, a message, something to then you can use variable. So let's say for an example if you are having an empty box then empty box is your variable. You put something inside that empty box it is completely full now you pack it then also it is a variable. You can use that empty box anywhere, if, anywhere or anytime or wherever you want to. Okay, so that is your variable. So for an, for an example, let me give a name to my variable. I'll give a name as message. So message here is my variable. I'll assign something. I'll, I'll store something inside my variable. So with the help of message, this message is going to be my variable and I want to store something inside this message. So let me have a message. Hello here. <coughs> Hello there. Okay. So this is my message and I'm storing that inside the message variable. Now if I want to display this message hello there then what I can do I can use a function named print and this print function is going to display. So what I'm going to insert here I'm going to insert message and then again I, I, I close my braces and, and when I run this with the by pressing F5 you will see that at the command prompt it has written hello there. That means the this message variable is storing something and now I'm calling the function print and with the help of print function I call my variable and variable instead of you know uh, instead of message it is showing me the, the stored value okay so right now let me have an, another example let me have a variable name <coughs> test this is my you know this is my variable test and I'm going to store I'm going to store python tutorials and then when I make a print and then again I call my variable name test when I run again you will see there are two message hello there and python tutorials so in that way you can create your variable and can store something and you can display there on the command prompt in this way it is working so keep that in mind that we have something called as assignment operator which means this this one equal sign it suggests that you are assigning something that means on the right hand side whatever the value is there it is going to be stored in the left hand side it is the it is the meaning of this equal sign or the assignment operator okay so whatever the right hand side it is there it is going to be stored inside this test and then you can use this variable anywhere you want to use okay so this is how it works so now there is one more thing you should you should understand that right now this variable message variable is having a string hello there but now if i use Again, this this variable message, and I use some other message here. Hello, welcome to my channel. This is my message. Now, if you see here, if I make a print, and then again, if I call my message here, you will see you will see here that when I run this application, you will see <coughs> that that initially it stores hello there then it stores python tutorials and then it overrides the hello there message which is stored in the same variable now it is showing me the complete updated message hello welcome to my channel so it updates whenever you know you so it takes the recent or the updated uh, value that you stored it will not take the earlier value if you want to make a difference between message and this message this message and this message then you need to change your variable name from this mess this variable name to this variable name you need to change make a difference by putting one or here two you can do that then no problem at all but then you have to uh, you have to make a difference here okay this is the, this is the second thing <clears throat> one more thing is uh, one more thing is the naming conventions of this variables so let me have the naming conventions so i already had written down the four naming conventions and it says uh, the first naming convention says that variable name can contain only letter number and underscore you see here it only allows you letter number and underscore and it is also very compulsory that you cannot use 
or you cannot use your variable that is starting with the letter sorry let start with numbers you cannot use it so what i mean to say is if your variable name is starting with a letter here sorry number here one and then you write message and then you want to store something here let me have john <coughs> and then you use print command and you pass this one message you will see there is an error which comes up i'll run this application and you will see the error says that file test.py that is my file name it says invalid syntax why invalid syntax because you are you are creating a variable name which is starting with the number it should not be it should not be happened it is going to be prohibited in naming conventions of python there is a problem you cannot use it the number okay so you can use this one after you know or the after the message or uh, or anywhere in between you can you can use it no problem in that but you cannot start your variable name with the with the number so the second naming convention it says that spaces are not allowed in the variable name by means of that it says it says that if let's say i have a variable name test message if you are writing something like this so there is a gap in between your variable name you can see this is a space here okay so you are you are here if you are trying to store some value inside this complete variable name but there is a space in between okay and when you run print and you provide this test message and you run this application you will see again there is an error and what is the error invalid syntax it again says invalid syntax why because because your compiler is going to confuse here that we i have one value but i have two variables here right because you are putting this space in between variables so he will not understand that where exactly should i store this john in this variable where should i store in the test or in the message because he is taking he is taking into consideration that this is not complete one variable it is, th th these are the two variables because of this space so what you what you can what you can do here is you can you can remove this space or you can use underscore you can use it then there will be no problem you can see here it will run precisely see john so this is the the second naming conventions the third one it says avoid using python keyword and function name as variable name by means of that there are some reserved keywords that is used by the python programming language and you cannot use it so these are some of the you know, these are some of the keywords that is there in the python programming language you cannot use it if you want to see it let me have this finally keyword let me work with finally keyword so if i if i remove this test underscore message instead of that if i put finally and and remove this test message and i put finally here you will see this is the reserved keyword but now i am using this reserved keyword as a variable keep that in mind i am using this reserved keyword as a variable name and when i try to run this application you will see invalid syntax again there is an error why because i am using a reserved keyword as a variable name this is not acceptable this is not this is prohibited completely okay so this is our so this is going to be our what do you call the third uh, now let's understand the fourth uh, this naming convention it says your variable name should be short but descriptive so by means of short you cannot use variable name as like this like f underscore n this is not acceptable this is not again acceptable see keep that in mind that this will work definitely it is going to work see i can print this f underscore n if i run this application it will precisely run you can see it is it is printed no problem inside that but a second person who is you know following your code or who is reading your code he will not get anything from this you know from this variable he is not getting anything f underscore n what does it mean he cannot understand it right but if you give a description then the, the, there will be okay thing so if i make first and name this looks okay to me now the second person will understand that yeah first name it means john is the first name fn doesn't make any sense right so the same thing i'm going to copy and print it over here this both command will will work see john is going to be printed your variable name should be short but descriptive okay please remember that another thing is there is a problem here in the python programming language it is you you don't misinterpret it okay be careful with this thing so in the lowercase letter the l here you see l it looks like one 
right? So never confuse with this. So L is 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 it looks like one here. It precisely well, it looks like that, right? So uh, please keep that in mind. There are some confusing uh, uh, lowercase letters and uppercase letters. So you keep that in mind how to use it precisely. Okay. So this is the naming conventions. And now also let's understand uh, you know some of the uh, what do you call this uh, errors. So I have a message here, okay, and I am printing it. But now let's say I have this message M E W -S, S A G E. But instead here in the print mess print function, I am removing this S extra S. Now you will see when I run this application, there is an error. See what this error says. It says trace back. Now trace back it means it is a kind of record of where the interpreter ran into trouble when trying to execute your code. What does it mean? The trace back it is a kind of record in this complete you know this this complete file. It will record everything. So if I if I having ten line of code, then wherever there is an error, it is going to stop. It is going to be stopped there. So trace back it means wherever it finds the error, it will stop at that particular line. And then it will not, you know, proceed further. So traceback is a kind of record. So you can see here also, it's a, it is saying that there is a problem in the line two. See, it's saying traceback is a record which is recording. Line two, there is an error. What is the error? Name message is not defined. It simply means that this particular thing is not defined in your program, in your complete file. There is, there is no word says M E S A G E. But yes, there is a word M E double S A G E. There is a problem. You will directly understand it. Now you will put double S and it will precisely run. No problem at all. Run this. Okay. So hello there. So keep that it keep that in mind also that how to you know precisely see our errors and how to work around. I hope you understand this tutorial. Uh, you can you know try it yourself by uh, uh, by something you know by just walking around variable is completely simple thing in the next session we, we're going to understand strings so i hope you understand it thank you so much if you're having any doubt you can directly uh, comment in the comment section i'll be happy to help you uh, if you haven't subscribed my channel i again insist you to please subscribe it thank you so much for the help like comment and share thank you